We're getting ready to do a painting of this scene right here in Port Gamble, Washington. <laughs> My face is in complete shade when I do this, but it's not when I do this. But now the sun is on my bald head, which is going to burn to a crisp and bubble on top of my head. And I'm going to be painting this scene right out here in front of us with the wildflowers and the, the point of land behind. And the first thing I'm going to do is tone my canvas, like I usually do, with a sienna color. Take the white off the painting surface, and I've got it kind of in the, the, the panel in the shade so that the sun isn't right on the white panel, which will distort the color and everything. So, Okay, so I'm gonna set my horizon line pretty high up on the panel, about like this. Using a T-square so I get it perfectly horizontal. And hopefully that's all I'm gonna need that T-square for. And I'm gonna put a put that point of land out there. Right off the bat. It's probably a little bit bigger than it needs to be. And then we're gonna have all these wildflowers paint down here that are gonna be most of the foreground. This painting should go pretty fast. It's actually pretty simple painting. It's got the daisies in the front here. Kind of a grouping of daisies, so I'll make that a big shape. Roses, pink roses back here. Some shadow. Some yellow. Dandelions in the front. And that's a pretty simple line drawing, but that's about all I need for this scene. The sky will be the lightest value except for the daisies. Make sure that kind of stark white. I'm just going to suggest some of these shadowy areas back here. The, the white of the canvas, or the initial tone of the canvas where the light flowers are going to be. And filling in. Boy, you can really feel the heat of the sun out of here without your hat on. So I've created that distance sort of that I want by softening those edges right over that color that I put down initially. And I can kind of go back in and model it a bit if I want to. distant line back there. I just want to barely suggest I'm convinced it's going to be the best game in here, so. But yeah, it's pretty brutal out here. At least for us Washingtonian people. Well, I'm 
wanting to vary my greens and get different varieties of color of greens in there that I see. Yeah, the good news is this is gonna go fast and either be a bit painting or a boss little bit. Yeah, at this stage I would just leave it or I might take a break and come back and but it's pretty uh, I like the distance that I got in the in the bluff back there and uh, the flowers are buried in their color and design and I like that and um, it's got some contrast and varieties in the green so um, I'm pretty happy with a quick little plain air study so I'll probably sign that and leave it the way it is. <laughs> Hi. This painting that was uh, done today as part of a tutorial for Robin Weiss Fine Art is going to be donated to the um, Port Gamble Forest Project, Kitsap Forest and Bay Community Campaign to help save uh, Port Gamble Forest and buy more acres and, and keep uh, this area in Port Gamble pristine for hikers and bikers and all of us who love the wildlife out here and the beautiful scenery. So thank you for watching today.